we're doing lesson 91 and we're on page 500, 598. Today's lesson is Simpl simplifying and impor improper fractions. Okay. We only have one objective today. And we only have one objective today, and that's simplify improper fractions and mixed numbers. Very good. Thank you, my lovely assistants. So on page 598, we'll begin uh, with our new concept. We have learned two ways to simplify fractions. We have converted improper fractions to whole numbers or mixed numbers, and we have reduced fractions. So again, they just mean that we've had improper fractions, we've divided the numerator by the denominator, and reduced it like this. We've also had uh, fractions that need to be reduced such as 4, 6. We found the greatest common, greatest common factor. We've divided by that factor. And we've got a reduced fraction of 2 thirds. Okay? Um, they, they use a picture to give us an example. And that example is on page 598. After the party, some pizza was left over. There was 3 fourths of a, a pizza in one box and 3 fourths of a pizza in another box. Okay, all together, how much pizza was left in the two boxes? Well, we of course add three-fourths to three-fourths. The numerator adds, the four stays the same, um, and we divide, numerator by denominator. Four goes into six once. We end up with one and two-fourths. Um, I know from practice that two-fourths, two is half of four, so this fraction is equal to uh, one-half, which means the mixed number easily converts to one and one-half. I would like you to put one and one half down. Um, let's go for example number five because we do not have a fifth example in this book. So for example number five, we're writing one and one half. We might want to label that one and one half pizzas. Okay, um, now we move on a little bit later and we end up with uh, example number one. Example number one, it says write eight six as a mixed number in lowest terms. So we have to do two things with this. Um, first, we have to make it uh, a mixed number. We can't have a numerator higher than the denominator. So we divide 8 by 6. 6 goes into 8 once with the remainder of 2. So our, our mixed number is 1 and 2, 6. 2, 6, we notice that they're both even. So 2, 6 needs to be reduced. I see that they're both even. Um, I'm going to start with dividing 2 by 2. I end up with 1 third. So my answer for this reduced fraction, 8 6 is equal to 1, and my 2 6 reduced to 1 third. So this is your ex answer for example number 1. Example number 2. We're on page 599. The dictionary is 1 and 7 inch, 7 eighths inches thick, and the thesaurus is 3 eighths inches thick. If the two books are side by side, how thick are they together? So we take 1 and 7 eighths inches. We need to add it to 1 and 3 eighths inches. This is example 2. Okay, we add those two numbers together. Adding numerators together, 7 plus 3 is 10. 8 does not change. 1 plus 1 is 2. What I end up with here is a mixed number with an improper fraction. I leave the two alone for now. I divide 10 by 8, and I get 1 and 2 eighths. So what I do with my whole number is add it to my 2. So 2 and 10 eighths equals 3 and 2 eighths, which makes sense because we took 8 eighths out of this and we have 2 eighths left. 8 eighths is equal to one whole, and that's exactly what we have left. Now 2 eighths, again, it looks like it is not a reduced fraction. Again, because I have uh, an even number in both the numerator and the denominator, my answer ends up being 3 and 1 fourth. I, I divide by 2 halves just to uh, simplify the 2 eighths part of the fraction. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. My answer ends up being 3, my whole number, my reduced fraction, 1 fourth. My label is inches. And that is our answer for example number 2. Okay. And then turning the page to page 600. On page 600, it says combine the, the pieces to show that 3 fourths plus 1 half, e or 3 fourths plus 3 fourths equals 1 half. Oh no, sorry, that was in the um, 
in one of the manipulative problems. And they basically had three force. Oops. They basically had three force plus three force. Okay, equals, and it was one and one half. I'm going to draw smaller circles just so I can represent that. Um, I have four force, one, two, three, four force, represent one whole. Um, two force is just an unreduced way of writing one half. So three force plus three force is one and one half because two force reduces to one half. Okay? So again, three force plus three force, I end up with seven force. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I do that wrong? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Three fourths plus three fourths does not equal seven fourths. It equals six fourths. Okay? Um, so I have four fourths and two fourths left over. My whole, my fraction, my reduced fraction, I end up with one and one half. You do not have to write that number down. Um, we are going to do uh, a practice problem. Let's do K, and let's do this for example number four. Okay, so for example number four, I'm doing practice problem K, but I want you to write this down on the line for example number four. Um, it says five-thirds times three-halves. Five-thirds times three-halves. I multiply straight across. Five times three is 15. Three times two is six. Now I divide numerator by denominator. 15 divided by six. Two times six is 12. I have a 3 as a remainder, so I have 2 and 3 sixths. My answer, 2 and 3 sixths, is unreduced. I can do this one of two ways. Uh, hopefully we know that 3 sixths equals 1 half, because 6, or sorry, 3 is exactly half of, of 6. 3 is exactly half of 6. Um, if we don't, we find greatest common factor of both the numerator and denominator. Okay, and I find that it's 3. I divide both terms by 3. I get 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. My answer then is 2 and 1 half. Oops. 2 and 1 half. And that is your answer for example number 4. Um, I guess have a great night. Hopefully my assistants will act like perfect little gentlemen, the perfect little gentlemen they are. Have a good night. See you this weekend. Well, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a good time. <laughs>